What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be doing a video on my own personal soccer jersey collection. So a new backdrop with my soccer scarves here. Um, I felt it was appropriate for the video. And uh, I'm just going to be going through all of my jerseys that I own right now. And I will most likely keep forever because they're all memorable to me. I'm just going to be going through my jerseys that I've picked up the last couple years. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you would like these um, collection videos because I've got more sports jerseys and then I would like to do a scarf collection video too because I have a story to tell about every time I've gotten a scarf. So uh, yeah, uh, drop a like and subscribe and uh, let's get into the first jersey. Uh, first jersey I have here is going to be the uh, White Caps Rain jersey from two years ago. Um, this jersey was the one right before the hoop jersey got released um, and it is the authentic long sleeve one. So it is like the same material that an uh, actual player would use. So the top quality version of this jersey and it is long sleeve. So I, I am a big fan of these long sleeve jerseys. They're really comfortable and they fit really well. Um, one thing about this jersey, um, the fabric, because it is authentic, it feels more like a really thin t-shirt than an actual like polyester shirt. Um, so it's cool and interesting to find out what the players actually wear, because this is what they would wear. Um, I got it at the team like special sale as they do every year last year um, where they sell like game worn stuff and I got this for 50% off so uh, no name on the back but I can easily just get that done at any game and yeah this is one of my favorite jerseys uh, from from the white caps of my collection. Next jersey here will be of my favorite team of all time Arsenal uh, that is sad to say because they always have let me down uh, just like the Canucks and just like the Whitecaps, I have a pretty crappy taste in teams, but uh, that's how it goes, I guess. Um, this jersey here is from 2014 or 2015. Uh, I forget what year, one of those two. Um, it has no name on the back, but it's still... Uh, this was the... No, the second year that they switched to the Puma. Um, so the first one I didn't like as much, but this one I really liked. Nice and simple, and it does have um, one interesting thing. It does have the kind of a curved T-shirt bottom at the part bottom part there, so that's cool to see. Uh, it's comfortable to wear, and if you look closely, it does have like kind of stripes, so kind of a darker red and a lighter red, but not much to uh, see there. And it also has some gold striping um, on the collar here, so um, it's a cool jersey. Um, it does, it has started to uh, fade away here as the little bits, and there has been some pulls in the jersey, but uh, it's been around in my house for about five years now. So I feel like it's a really good quality and I like the Puma jerseys. So yeah. Uh, next up is going to be the Tigres jersey of Monterrey from Mexico. Um, this jersey was released uh, three years ago, three or four years ago, and I got it in Mexico. Um, I got it in Playa del Carmen, but it was a sports store that sold all of the jerseys. So uh, this knows that the Mexican jerseys have a lot more advertising and a lot more going on in the jersey. And on the back too, like they have two ads. And usually like the white caps would only have one ad, that's it. But uh, so in Mexico they use a lot more ads because I guess they need more funding. Um, but this one is cool here. Um, because it's one of my only jerseys that have the Adidas logo in the middle. And it has very nice colors. I like the blue and blue and yellow together. It's a really good uh, combo, combination of colors. And uh, yeah, pretty simple. Not the best quality. It's just a fan one. So not the actual authentic one. And it has it does have the arm ads too. So that it's a little bit better than a regular fan one. But uh, still, I'd like to get a real authentic one of this. Um, and it does have Geniac on the back. He is a French player who plays there now. He's still on the team, I'm pretty sure, and he's really good. Um, he scored a goal against the Whitecaps when they played in the CONCACAF Champions League. And um, yeah, he's a really great player. So uh, this is one of my favorite teams in Mexico. Uh, I did get to see them play in Club America or at the Azteca in Club America, against Club America, I'm trying to say. Um, and they tied 2-2, I'm pretty sure. So that was a really fun game, and I got to wear this and support the uh, Tigres. Uh, next jersey isn't really a jersey, it's a, a training top, 
but it still feels like a jersey, so I'm just going to include it in the video. Um, this is a Juventus uh, training jersey from 2017, um, right before they switched to the new uh, Juventus logo. So uh, I am not a bandwagon Juventus fan because of Ronaldo. I can prove it with this jersey. Um, so this is actually a really cool training top. Um, nothing on the back, but um, I like the stripes at the top here in the color, just the gray and yellow. And just nice and simple with the stripes coming out of the, coming under the arm here. And yeah, uh, I like to wear this when I just go and play for fun and stuff. And it's a cool t-shirt to wear. Next up is going to be the uh, New York City FC uh, inaugural away jersey. So this is from their first year back in 2016. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. Um, but this jersey um, my dad got me when he went to New York for a work conference. And then I went to a White Cups game and got um, Pirlo uh, uh, custom, customized on the back because he was playing at the time and I actually got to see them in Vancouver. And um, David Villa scored a penalty to win the game 1-0, I'm pretty sure. And he kind of dove, but Pirlo was amazing. And he's always want to be going to be the one of the greatest players I've ever seen in an actual game. So yeah, this jersey is super cool and that's why I like it so much. Uh, here we have uh, Cruz Azul, um, this team is from Mexico City and I got to see them in their last year playing in the, I forgot the name of the stadium, but it's like this old bowl in uh, Mexico City and it's like right in the center of downtown um, and there's ton. it's so busy there and they were, re they moved into the Azteca because uh, it was just so run down. But um, yeah, so I, it was super cool that I got to see it. And this jersey was made by Under Armour, so my only Under Armour jersey. And no name on the back, but um, lots of ads on this one. Not as much as the Tigers one, but um, Cruz Azul Cemento. I think it's like a cement company. And then Scotiabank here, so not as many as the other ones. And then I think all the teams in Mexico have Telcel and Tecate on the back, the phone company and the beer. Uh, they seem to be on every jersey I, have, I own from the Mexican League. But yeah, this one is a cool jersey, but it's kind of simple. And yeah, I'm glad I have it. Next uh, is going to be the Team Scotland um, jersey from last year, 2019. Um, I got this at a JD Sports in Scotland and um, when I was there last summer. And it was like on sale, so I had to pick it up. Um, it's a super cool jersey, nice and simple. Um, but it also has some cool designs, hard to see, but little kind of triangle designs that go down. Um, and yeah, just simple dark blue, like their regular, um, like they would always have for their jersey. And then I really like the logo with the lion and the shield. So um, I have family in Scotland and I'm uh, part Scottish, so I felt like I had to get this jersey. Next jersey we have here is going to be similar to the last long sleeve, the first jersey I showed you guys. Um, this one is the Whitecaps long sleeve authentic jersey from 2014, I'm pretty sure, 2014 or 2015. And this is the Christian Tachera game worn jersey actually. So um, this jersey is like probably the most authentic jersey I've ever gotten. It is literally the one that the players wear. Um, you can see in the logo here how uh, it's it just feels and it has more designs in it. In it and um, it just uh, just feels more real than the actual like fan versions and it does have the MLS logo um, more like of a rubbery texture so different than the actual just cloth on the regular fan jerseys and it's on both sides and it is long sleeve and I love the long sleeve jerseys with the stripes going all the way down I feel like uh, they just look really good and yeah I like wearing this like in the summer and stuff and it's a nice light shirt to wear and uh, it's one of my favorite white caps jersey designs with the diamonds like kind of fading down. I wish they brought it back maybe from the coming from the bottom or something. But yeah, this is one of my favorite jerseys uh, from the white caps. Uh, next year is we have uh, this is one of my only jerseys that's uh, a knockoff version. So uh, this is a Mexico jersey from uh, 2017, I'm pretty sure. And it look it's pretty cool um, to see how close it is to the. Um, real Adidas version but just a couple things you can notice here as you can tell it's fake just the Adidas thing is just lightly printed and kind of doesn't look as real as a real printing and um, I'd say if it didn't have that and it had a real Adidas logo it feels perfect like feels just like a regular jersey 
and then it just has the um, the wrong font and not very good printing. It just like someone like kind of put this on with like rubber things and pasted them on. But uh, I got this in Mexico for like 15 bucks or something. So it's like, might as well. Yeah, I thought it was a cool jersey and I know it's fake, but uh, I just have it in the collection and it's a pretty cool jersey. I like the design and I, uh, I like green stuff. Green's one of my favorite colors, so yeah. Second last jersey here is gonna be the Crystal Palace Away kit from this season actually. Um, I got this at the start of this season last summer when I was in England um, and I got this at the game. I saw a friendly between Crystal Palace and Hertha Berlin. I have the scarf right here, um, the half and half scarf. I really like those ones. Um, so yeah, I got the jersey here. It's it, one of my favorite jersey designs ever I think. It has the red on the one arm, blue on the other and uh, it just comes down, it's like perfect colors and then I love the overall black. I feel like it's a really good um, third or away kit. Um, it's one of the two, not the home jersey though. But um, this is my only other Puma kit. And uh, the texture on this, or the fabric is really thin. It's way less thin than the Arsenal jersey from at the start of the video. But um, yeah, this jersey is one of my favorite jerseys and it I like has longer sleeves, so it goes down almost to your elbow. It's kind of like a half sleeve jersey. So, um, one of my favorite looking jerseys in my collection. Uh, last jersey here in my collection, probably probably my favorite of my whole collection, is the Arsenal um, away jersey from this season as well. Um, this is kind of the retro redesign of the, the JVC jersey with, when it had the JVC sponsor. And it was like really kind of ugly, but they turned it around from, that one was from like 1990s, somewhere in the 90s, but uh, this one they kind of redid and made it more simple and super cool design here. Uh, there's no jersey like it else um, in the league or in the world, I'd say. Um, I love the yellow and dark blue, such a cool combination. And um, when they wear yellow shorts and yellow socks with this kit, it's such a good looking jersey. Um, makes it even look better. And no name on the back, but uh, maybe I'll get that done next time I go to England because I'm hoping to go there, go back there soon again and watch a Arsenal game at home this time because I saw them away at Newcastle. Um, but I'd love to go to the Emirates one day. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the last jersey. Um, probably my favorite right now. I wear this probably once a week. Um, and yeah, I love when, they, when I'm watching Arsenal and they're wearing this top. So yeah. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video here. Um, kind of a longer video than I expected. Uh, but I really wanted to do this one because uh, I have so many soccer jerseys and I wanted to show them off. Um, thanks for uh, supporting this channel. Uh, I'm having really fun making these videos. And uh, comment down below any video ideas you want to see next because I've got lots of time to make videos. So uh, yeah, just comment down below and um, uh, subscribe. And please follow me on Instagram at 5 Productions. And yeah, uh, thanks for everyone and see you later.